a beautiful day. First day of spring 2015. It's a little gray, a little overcast, and of course, all the grass is still dead, but I wanna get out and have some fun. And I figured today would be an excellent day since I got this FIC uh, skateboard, F-I-I-K. This radio control uh, board, it's quite large. It's an off-road board. It is only one wheel drive, uh, belt driven. Look at that monster motor. Check that out. Here is the giant uh, uh, life battery that comes with it, super powerful. Uh, this is controlled radio control. Uh, basically you have throttle and your brake and of course your weight transfer is what actually turns this beautiful skateboard. Okay, so I got my brain bucket, eh? Got to protect the old noggin. And uh, I've wanted to go down some of these trails for a while. Uh, this board is very quiet, but because I'm using a GoPro to help film the footage, uh, I'll probably put some music over the video simply because you you know you just get a ton of wind noise, right? And that's no fun. And I hope you guys enjoy today's RC adventure. It's gonna be a good ride. Lots of information in the video description box about this board, how far it can go. Uh, there's two models. This one is the upgraded battery version. So I got a film and I got to control the board. Good luck to me. <laughs> Still got lots of ice on the path too. Back to the pass. Let's do it. Ah, it's a little too icy for me. Or is it? Nice. Nice. Straight ice. Look at this, straight ice. those wheels slipping or I'll end up on my butt. bumps in there. Sweet! Truly off-road. Let's do it.
<laughs> for those of you that remember Everett and I uh, taking the Traxxas Summit and the Seine out. This is the giant pond I dropped it in last year. I had to get in that icy water and recover it. It was awesome. It's because we came down these stairs too fast and I ended up bouncing boom, boom, boom over the edge. Skadoosh. Ah, what a great day. I could make it up this hill. Unfortunately, my legs don't have enough strength and or I don't have enough grip because it's basically vertical. Camera never does it justice. Still going on the ice okay though. Just gotta be careful of my weight transfer. Still our scene. <laughs> Try this hill. Oh, nope. Got a fair distance up it though. See? Not bad. It's just one wheel drive, eh? You can see the drive wheel line right there. Let's let it roll back down the hill. Battery indicator. Everything's okay. Huh. You get around quick on this thing. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Look at how beautiful it is today. Take a little jump. Look at that. That's why I RC, so I can get out and see cool stuff like this. Well, there you go. You finally caught me out off-roading on my uh, thick electric RC skateboard. Look at it. It is filthy, but it handled the mud. It handled the water. You know, I wasn't in really deep, sticky mud, uh, even though some of the wet patches I went through were kind of deep. It does handle the water well. Uh, it's not supposed to go underwater, of course. Uh, no skateboard is. <laughs> uh, but look at me. Filthy, head to toe. Everybody always asks me, why are you wearing those protective pants? And really, you know, the camera doesn't get how fast you're going when you're on the board. It's a heck of a workout. My muscles and my legs, I've had to, uh, you know, beef them up a little bit just to handle the uh, the drops, the turning, the, the, the sudden impact of off-roading. And of course, a big board like this, you're steering with your weight, so it's quite a bit. It doesn't steer on a dime, right? You need to actually put some effort into it, but... 
Either way, the weather is gorgeous. I got out to have some fun. And uh, isn't that what RC is all about? I hope you guys get out and have some RC fun. And I will see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Thanks for watching.